Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I got 3D Mark Fire, or just the new 3D Mark, and I'm gonna be running 3D Mark Fire Strike. Um, I got the Advanced Edition. Uh, yeah, so um, there's no demos or anything. It's kind of stupid if you don't buy the Advanced Edition. You have to run all three of them with all the demos. So I just bought it. It's like 25 bucks. But I'll show you my overclock. Um, I don't know if it's gonna crash or not, but. 110 power target. These are 660 uh, 660 super clocks from EVGA. 110 power target plus 58 megahertz on the GPU and plus 70 on the uh, memory. And it's just an auto fan curve. And I have K boost on, so my voltage will go up a little bit. So I'm just gonna run it. I'm not gonna run the extreme, but. If you want me to, I'll do a video. And my, I got an i5 3570K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, so. You probably won't be able to see the FPS all too well. If it wants this thing. I think it's a bit iffy with that overclock. I did this before and I did it two times and ran, so. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you'll see the FPS come down right about here, so. Probably won't be able to see it because it's kind of bright where it is. I'll just tell you the FPS I'm getting. I'm getting 45, 40, 38, 50 right here. Get down the 36 there. 60 there. I'm just gonna shut up. You'll see the results. Sorry if my video is a bit shaky, I'm recording on my phone. It's kind of hard to hold the smartphone still. So keep in mind this is a pretty extreme overclock for these cards, so. Um, yeah, 40 FPS there, it's getting like 50. Last scene, 30 here. Dip down to like 25. Here's the uh, physics test. This tests the, the CPU only. Um, at the i5, overclocked to 4.5, I get like 26 FPS. Constant, and 27 sometimes. But it's pretty smooth. And the last test is a combined test, which combines CPU and the GPU mostly, but works more on the CPU than it does the GPU. So, we get pretty pretty disgusting frames. <laughs> so about 13 FPS. So that's it. Um, wait for the results to come in. All right, I got a 7257 uh, score. Trying to get focus. 
graphics score was 8915, physics score was 8478. Um, it's validating there. Once it's done validating, it'll bring up a, a screen. But, and then, yeah, there it is. This is a valid result, so. No gimmicks or anything. So we see GTX 660, uh, not the TI, uh, two cards and SLI, two gigs. That is wrong. I don't know why it keeps coming up. 549 megahertz. It was actually running at like, uh, I don't know. You could actually check with this. Let's go to details. It's actually over here. Um, that's CPU clock. Come on. <laughs> But you can look, and if you right-click and hold, you can see how hot your GPU got up to 60 degrees Celsius. Once it gets to 60 degrees Celsius, the fan kicks up another notch, so CPU only got up to 53. At a 4.5 gigahertz overclock at 53, that's pretty good. And you could uncheck and check some of their FPS. But back to the web page. And yeah, I'll show you the res uh, the FPS results. Again, 45 on test one, 33 on test two, 26 on physics, and 12.9 on the com combined. So yeah, that's about it. Score of 72.57 is pretty great, and the combined score of 27.81. So, yeah, thanks for watching and. uh Yep, if you want uh, some other ones done, I have my laptop here. You can't see this really dark. And uh, that has a GT 630M. So, yeah. Uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.